Hi, I'm Nick from ViaEngines.com. I just want to show you about pull starting an engine, which you might want to do if you've got a flat battery or dyna start problems. Uh, now, I've, I've carefully selected and made this. It's just the right diameter of cord, so it won't get jammed in the grooves and the knot won't come undone. It's just the right length. And I've done my research because over the years I've bought all sorts of engines I often get the bits and pieces like pull starts and I can tell you that most of these are dangerous and a disaster waiting to happen because they're the wrong length or they jam or the thing you hold really hurts your fingers so get rid of those um, this engine is warm I'll show you how to to um, prepare a cold one in a minute but basically you put your your knot facing forwards Go around a couple of times and then what you want to do is get it to the turn the crank so it's just past the tight point and then it it should be easy enough to pull start. Okay. So I'll just show you that again, I'll close up a little bit so you can see the or in fact I'll I'll widen out so you can see what I'm doing in terms of effort. I've got this on a bench, so if I can start this old engine which has not been rebuilt um, on the bench, then it's probably easier if you've got a decent engine in the boat because you can just pull up. But do watch your knuckles, people. I would say wear a pair of sailing gloves because as you pull up, if you hit something like uh, the superstructure of the boat, you can easily take your skin off. I haven't really got that danger here. So as I say, I'll get it up to the tight point, just past there, and then we're ready to pull. Okay, now, the reason this is uh, loose is because I was just demonstrating how to make life easier. So if you've got, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. Sorry about the dark video, it's um, spring bank holiday. Right, so if, if you are wanting to make life easier, loosen or take off the Dynastart belt with a 13mm spanner. You can take the sliding nut off, do it up so that belt is really slack, and then you should find it's not spinning the Dynastart three times faster than the crank like normal. Or you can even take the belt off, okay? And that's going to make it easier to pull start the engine. Once you've got the engine started and warmed up, you can then stop it, put the belt on, and it should go easily, right? So that's one good tip. The other thing is on the carburetor here, I'll just show you. You've either got um, a Tillotson or a Bing. So on the Tillotson carburetor, if it's cold, you need the choke on and you need a little bit more throttle when it's cold than when it's hot so either use your Morse lever and make sure this is about 10% throttle or if you haven't got that just jam a piece of cardboard between the um, lever and the adjustment screw and that will do the same thing okay so that's on the Tillotson you also need to make sure the fuel so if you're not if your fuel is not gravity fed then you need to prime it with the little squeezy bulb you've got, like an outboard tank I'm using here. Wouldn't recommend outboard tanks, but if you've got an outboard tank and you've got a cold engine you haven't started for days and weeks, just squeeze it until the pressure feels a little bit firmer. That means you've got the air out and the fuel in, but don't overdo it or you'll flood the engine. So that's the Tillotson, which is on the Via 6 and Via 7 covered. If you've got a VIA 12, it's got a different carburetor and there's, um, it's, it's battery controlled electric choke which fits in here on the Bing carburetor. But I'll just show you this close up. On the Bing carburetor, there is an adjustment screw here which is the idle mixture and the electric choke goes in there. If you've got a flat battery, and a 12 volt choke which is not clicking is not working so I'd recommend either you temporarily unscrew this half or one turn out and remember to put it back in when the engines started or 
get a can of easy start and spray it in the air filter a second or two before you pull it and that's how to cope with the via 12. of course if you're sensible long term what you do is you remove that um, 12 volt choke which the bing has and you buy my manual choke conversion but um, those basically your tips so um, I hope that you have a look and to avoid the postage charge of this little item what I suggest you do is just put it in your basket and then next time you you buy some parts at viaengines.com you can include this and uh, it's just something to put by in case you really do need to cold start it on a flat battery it will get you out of trouble and it's the safest one you could get okay thanks very much I'm Nick from Via Engines supporting you and I hope you can support me. Thanks.